This is characteristic orthopyroxene. It has this pink to green pleochroism, high relief, pyroxene cleavages to it, not particularly great. Cross the polars and you see it has very low interference colors. These are about as high as they ever get. And that's different from clinopyroxene. Clinopyroxene, there will be some grain that has much higher interference colors somewhere in this section. This is orthopyroxene in a plutonic rock. You can see some of that pleochroism again, but this one is nice, elongate, has some pretty good cleavages to it. So when I cross the polars, you will see that it has parallel extinction. That's another characteristic of orthopyroxene that I look for. This is more pink to green pleochroic orthopyroxene. There's a little olive green hornblende around the edges, and you can see that the uh, hornblende has lower relief than the orthopyroxene. And last, this is pink orthopyroxene from a gabbro. I have to say, identifying orthopyroxene, clinopyroxene, and olivine is just not very easy. So what I do is I scan around a section until I find a really distinctive grain, like this one, for example. And then I say, ah, there is orthopyroxene in here. I won't be able to identify every orthopyroxene grain, but at least I will be able to know that orthopyroxene is in the rock.